Superman issue 4 finds Siobhan Smythe, better known as Silver Banshee, call her boyfriend, telling them that their boss Lois Lane will be mad if he's late again. She hears a knock at the front door, opening her apartment door to find Graft and his farm heads waiting for her. Shiv transforms into Silver Banshee, telling the villain that he picked the wrong house to mess with. She is stopped dead in her tracks by Graft and his red, yellow, green, blue and violet kryptonite gauntlet, which turns her back into a human. Graft reveals that while kryptonite impacts Superman very well, he's always wondered what it does to other people with unusual powers when the rock's radiation is amplified and combined. The farm heads subdue the woman as she asks what he wants and the villain knows it's quite simple since he knows that she wished to have a simple life and if she does everything he says, she will get that and if she doesn't, he will kill everyone she loves. On Strikers Island, Lex's peaceful reading in the prison's yard is interrupted by a loud man who was talking with his boys about how lucky they are to be in this prison and not somewhere like Blackgate, comparing Strikers Island to a day spa and it's expected since it holds just Superman's villains. One thinks that Superman sucks since he's a boy scout and the man thinks that he could kill everyone and rule the world if he wanted to, with only Batman giving the Man of Steel a run for his money. Luthor tires of the very loud man, picking up an acorn and removing one of of its nuts, flicking it at the laughing man and getting it right into his big mouth. Later on, Superman asks how Lex knew the man had a peanut allergy, and Lex knows technically the acorn doesn't have the allergen in it that leads to anaphylaxis. Clark doesn't care since the man almost died, but Lex just thinks that he was being rude, and Superman can't possibly think that he's going to get time reduced for good behavior, since all that matters to the world right now is their partnership and super cool. He wants Superman to think about all the good they've done in the last last couple of weeks, like helping warring races find peace, retrieved Imperiex's fabled sword, solved a hundred year old alien murder mystery, and even had an adventure with the atoms. Lex hopes that Superman will admit that it's working, but Clark knows that he's still withholding information on Dr. Farm and Graft, but Lex doesn't think the hero is ready to know yet. Clark begs to differ since these villains did something to Parasite and he had heavy traces of kryptonite radiation inside of him, and if what Luther said is true, these men forced a change in the makeup of Rudy's DNA and that's extremely dangerous since while they seem to be focused on Metropolis now, what if this is all just a test run for something much bigger? Superman implores Lex to make good on his word and actually work with him. So Lex relents and tells Clark about how when he first came to Metropolis as a young man, he was full of hope and plans and was idealistic, wanting to use his science to help the world. But he began noticing patterns in the city, like the homeless going missing off the street. With the cops being useless to do anything against it, Lex began tracking those who stole from the streets and that led him to confront Graft and Dr. Farm, who were ferrying homeless to their labs with the promise of food and safety. Lex battles with the villains and the farmhand minions, fighting them several times throughout the year while he learned that Farm was a deadly scientist and Graft was his assistant and brother, and he was equally intelligent. Lex also discovered their lab, freeing the trapped homeless that the villains were experimenting on as the villains themselves escaped and the freed people saw Lex as a hero, which Lex was more than happy to be since it brought attention to him. But he soon came to find out that this was just one of several hidden labs around Metropolis. Superman doesn't believe him and Lex thinks that he's just so stubborn that he believes that he was the only hero Metropolis has ever had. However, Lex does know that he did clean the streets long before Superman's appearance. Clark thinks that Lex believes in what he has said, but he's still avoiding something and he needs to be truthful with him if he wants this partnership to work and for him to help Lex with the villains. Lex angrily thinks that Superman is the one who needs help, so Superman demands to know where their lab of theirs is. Lex directs Superman to the tunnels under Metropolis, which Superman finds houses a completely other city. Superman figures that the city has been destroyed so many times over the years and it's like the area has become a graveyard of the ruins of those battles. He finds Graft and Farm's lab amongst the rubble and Lex is quick to say that it will be abandoned now and the villains won't be coming back. Clark discovers that they have plans for a Phantom Zone projector as Lex works through why they would need such a device as well as Parasite. Suddenly he screams at Superman to get out of there since it's a trap but it's too late as Silver Banshee appears, telling Superman that the villains used the Phantom Zone projector on her and they have given her no choice. Lex tells Clark to attack as Superman tries to talk Shiv down, but Silver Banshee unleashes her new Phantom 
Phantom Zone screen as above, Lois continues her research on Marilyn Moonlight, finding nothing on the digital archive of the Daily Planet. Jimmy catches up to her at the food van, apologizing for being late to work as he finds that his boss is avoiding the reporters up in the bullpen, and as Lois puts it, she finds them quite soft and besides, she is needing her caffeine fix. She asks Jimmy about Marilyn Moonlight and Jimmy has heard of her, having been told stories of her by his father all the time. He begins filling Lois in on the legend of Marilyn Moonlight when Superman and Silver Banshee's battle erupts from the ground, spilling out into the street. Superman hits Banshee with a controlled blast of his heat vision, eliminating the air from her lungs so she can't scream, for saving her from some falling debris. Lex thinks that he is finally learning as Superman tells Banshee that they need to go to Supercorp together, not wanting to use force. Jimmy rushes onto the battlefield though, telling Superman that he needs to stop and he can't hurt Banshee, because surprisingly, he is in love with her. 